There are a number of different places in Pocketsmith where you can add new categories. Let's take a look. When you first get started, you can set up your categories from the Categories page. Head to Settings, Categories, and select Add New from the toolbar. Here you can choose to use a template, add your own categories, or use a mixture of both. Just type in your category names, click Add New Categories, then click OK. The Categories page will reload and you'll see your new categories listed. Drag and drop categories to reorder them, or to create parent and subcategories. If you're not sure of all the exact categories you'd like to add right now, don't worry. You can edit, delete, and add new categories at any time. If you'd like to set up a category that correctly deals with transfers, you can do this here. Click on the three dot menu and select edit. Choose category options from the left hand menu, then tick this is a transfer category. You can learn more about transfer categories in our Learn Center. If you have bank feed accounts in Pocketsmith, these may have automatic categorization from the bank feed turned on. This means that your transactions are automatically categorized based on categories defined by our bank feed provider. These will also show on the categories page. You can learn more about automatic categorization from the bank feed in our Learn Center. Now let's see how to add new categories from the transactions page. Click a transaction to bring up the edit form. In the category field, type in a new category name and click create category. Then click save. Not only will this create a new category, but it will also categorize this particular transaction. Alternatively, select the checkbox beside one or a number of transactions, choose category from the toolbar, type in your new category and click create category. You can also add new categories from the categorize items page. Head to accounts, categorize items. Any uncategorized transactions will be displayed here. Under the category field, type in a new category and click create category, then save and continue. When creating a new category on the transactions page or categorize items page, a pop-up will appear allowing you to edit the settings for the newly created category. If you'd prefer to do this later, just click Not Now. You can always edit your category settings from the Categories page instead. Check out our Learn Center for more details on how to edit categories, as well as how to quickly categorize your transactions using category rules and filters.